Hey, what's going on, my sexy subs? It's Chris Harris, and welcome back to another gameplay slash commentary where we talk about girl standards and girlfriend standards and all that other fun stuff. Before we get into this, I just want to point out that I don't want to be talking about the gameplay during this video because I'm going to try to stick to topic. So I'm just going to point out that the beginning is uh, pretty freaking badass, the middle is a little boring, and then the ending is even more badass than the beginning. So uh, hopefully you guys can appreciate that. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So what kind of inspired this video was a comment I got in a video the other day. Um, basically, uh, a standard hater comment, you know, I actually was hating towards Kelly mostly. And uh, we've seen this so much. It's, it's actually gotten to the point where we're actually almost craving a little originality in haters. It, we're not like asking for haters, but we're asking for if you're going to hate, then at least try to be original, you know? Because we've seen the same stuff over and over and over again. And that's exactly what this comment was. It was just basically... Chris, your videos are stupid, your fans aren't sexy, they're stupid, and Kelly's ugly, and stuff like that. And believe it or not, I've actually gotten very good at, re at ignoring that type of stuff, um, and not replying to it. Although I do occasionally, I just kind of give in, and just like, oh, I'll embarrass this guy, you know. Um, actually, this guy in specific, um, someone replied to him and said, I just went to your channel, looked at your feed, and you liked a Justin Bieber video. Oh, and it was like, oh, snap, bitch. So anyways, yeah, like I said, I ignore them, but I, I generally just block them and, and be on with my way. But I came back to the video and realized that there was a bunch of comments replying to this guy. And um, some of them were positive and some of them were negative. So the first positive one that I'm going to highlight, I wish I copied this shit. Um, I wish I could give this guy a little credibility here. But um, basically this guy just replied and said, hey, you'd be lucky if you got a woman half as nice as Kelly and beautiful and this and that and this and that. And um, I'm really not one to have people going around judging my wife and saying, she's the hottest girl in the world, or she's the ugliest girl in the world, because it really, I don't care what people think. It, all that matters is what I think of her and what she thinks of me. That's the part of being in a relationship, you know? But I am very appreciative of when people defend me, and uh, it, it really, because what it goes to show is that you actually care for her as well as myself enough that, you know, you like the videos that, that Kelly and I make, maybe in Minecraft, or maybe our future Halo videos, you know, you're looking forward to those or something like that. Um, enough to basically make you willing to reply to this guy and make him look like an asshole, which he is. So I just want to say thank you to anybody who ever does any of that shit, like defending me in the YouTube comments, because I'm not always there to read all of them, and uh, even if I am, a lot of times I just ignore that shit, but it is very nice to see. So anyways, yeah, then I got a bunch of comments that were actually applying to that guy that was defending me, and they weren't really defending the hater, but they were just against any support for Kelly, which I thought was really odd because Kelly's never done anything negative on the internet. Nothing whatsoever. She's never tried to piss anybody off. She's always watching her words and even what she tweets about because she doesn't want to offend anybody whatsoever. And I'm similar, but there are times when I give in and I, I really don't care who I offend and I just say random shit. Um, that's just kind of my guy side, I suppose. But anyway, so yeah, it's a little odd when people start to pick on Kelly because I almost feel like, are you too bitchy to pick on a guy so you're gonna go around picking on his girl? Like, are you a fucking pussy? What is this? But anyways, these guys were replying and basically saying, what are you talking about? You just said Kelly was beautiful? <laughs> She's maybe a two out of 10. You were such a gamer nerd. You've obviously never had a girlfriend IRL, bitch. I've been laid X amount of times and you haven't and this and that and this and that. And you, you can just kind of tell. People go around on the internet and they start throwing around numbers saying that they've done this and they've been in relationships and you haven't and this and that and this and that. You can kind of tell that those are the people that are lying and actually haven't been in those relationships. It's kind of similar to the hackers in my trolling series now that I think about it. Because the real hackers, there are many real hackers in Call of Duty. I probably have some people who are subscribed to me who actually know what they're doing when it comes down to hacking. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little scared of those guys. But I know that if I ran into any of those real people, real hackers in lobbies, they'd be at least a little more mature than the kids that I run into. And they wouldn't be blabbing their mouth and embarrassing themselves on a video. And saying, oh, I'm going to get you sent to prison and rape your mom and all the other fun shit. So you kind of get the sense that this guy is like really, really defensive and most likely hasn't actually been there. It's almost like the people who, who haven't come out of the closet yet and you're like, oh, I'm so homophobic. Gay people are stupid and I hate them. And, and then the next year you find out that that guy was actually gay. So anyways, yeah, that's that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video was uh, the standards and people go around and rating women who they really have no right to go around rating and uh, stuff like that. And um uh, this is kind of relative to a video that I watched from a guy that I watch that makes videos, um, Hutch. He's a Call of Duty video maker guy. Actually, he makes other videos now and vlogs and shit. And he also just, re just recently got married, so congrats to him, I suppose. Um, but, um, yeah, so he did a video on So You're Fapping Too Much, something like that. People who watch too much porn and uh, fap too much. Masturbate. Jerk. I don't fucking, if you don't know what fap is. It's 2012, come on. 
Anyways, he was basically saying something along the lines of, once you watch too much porn, when you go out in the real world and you look at women, you're comparing them to these porn stars that you're seeing on the internet. And you're being depressed because you're basically like, oh my god, I'm never going to find a girlfriend if my standards are this high and this and that. And those are the people who actually go until they're like 30 without getting in a solid relationship. But let me just tell you something, guys. Um, the hottest girl in your school or wherever you're going to... You know, the hottest girl in whatever community you're in is probably not the hottest girl in whatever community you're in. I know it's crazy to believe, but the chick that goes around wearing a quadruple push-up bra and yoga pants in like four million times the eyeliner she should be wearing and, you know, all that other fun shit, um, she's probably not as hot as you actually think she is. That's just kind of your balls thinking and not your brain. See, I actually used to be that way, and that's why I know this stuff is because I'm speaking from experience. When I was going through puberty at first, when I was a young teenager going through school, I would look at the chicks that would wear the really tight skinny jeans that would really show off their ass and, and other shit like that, or would bend over so they could show off their G-string to all the guys, and be like, oh my god, she's so hot. And then you look at the chick in the corner that's sitting there all lonely, you know, probably has 400 times the personality as that dumb bitch flaunting around her thong, but she's like sitting there in like fucking glasses and overalls looking ugly as shit. But anyways, those ugly chicks, as you might call them, could come to school wearing the same shit, and then all of a sudden, oh, bam, they're a hot girl all of a sudden, transfer fucking mation? No, it shouldn't work like that. But I guess what I'm trying to say here is, uh, don't go around being that guy with the porn standards. Like, try to get in a relationship with a chick that you think has a nice personality, and then if she's hot, it's kind of a bonus. A couple of prime examples I suppose I could give you here is, uh, for anybody who's seen not another teen movie, that's a great example. And uh, any really celebrity that you think is like super hot, if you search the internet for a picture of them without like their makeup or before plastic surgery or before like their hairstylist gets to them, you're going to find out they look just like any other normal chick, maybe even uglier. But anyways guys, that's conclude the video. I would like to ask that you tap that like button if you enjoyed it and want to see more like this. Also feel free to suggest more topics for me to talk about. And aside from that, I'll thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. You sexy beast. <laughs>